Have you ever watched a speedrun and been like, I can do that? Well, today I wanted to put that to the test. I wanted to see if I could speedrun becoming a speedrunner. And what better of a game to pick than something of raw skill with high stakes? I'm going to speedrun The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Technically, I could miss this up. 2342. Since I had absolutely no clue what I was doing, I did the most efficient thing possible to start my journey into speedrunning. Tweeting out and begging for help and praying to God that somebody would come to my rescue and teach me. And by God, my prayers were answered. I'd found myself a teacher. And not just any teacher. The Nintendo and pencil sharpening warlord himself, small land. After talking a bit, we agreed that a respectable time to officially become a speedrunner for Breath of the Wild would be an any percent run in under 45 minutes. Time running short before the Tears of the Kingdom launch, it was time to get to work. Yo, what's up? Hi. The way I see it, it exists in three sections. There is the uh, the Great Plateau. Mm-hmm. The tutorial sequence basically is required uh, to leave to the uh, the four shrines on the plateau to get the paraglider. And then after you're done the plateau, you do the castle segment where you get all the weapons needed to kill uh, six bosses in a row. And then once you have that, you go and kill six bosses in a row with three hearts. The first thing that we went over was actually the most important trick of the run. It is called a BLSS, standing for Bow Lift Smuggle Slide. To keep it brief, this is when Link smuggles a blue watermelon into his hand while having a bow equipped, and it allows him to get a lot of backward speed by wiggling back and forth. And by a blue watermelon, you know what I mean. YouTube just doesn't like it when I say that word. Now you need to get the bomb into Link's hand. So yeah, jump, and right as he starts to fall, B+. plus. Maybe like a frame apart. Oh, that is the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> and then remove. Yeah. And if, yeah, perfect. If he puts it back on his head, then you got the timing right. Cool. Uh, now that you're in like a, a particularly glitchy state, aim the bow, but don't fire off an arrow. And then cancel it with a B press. Aim the bow and cancel it with a B press. And now it's just in his hand, right? Yeah. <laughs> now if you step up onto any ledge, so ledges that are about waist height, from Link, he'll have a custom, he'll have like a special step up animation. Just okay, make sure so you, you hold B and a direction. Okay. Oh! So start to fly a little bit. So you got it. <laughs> that, that was a that was a BLSS. Okay. So is this is this the hardest trick? This is the most consistent trick, I would say. This is this okay. is one of the easiest ones. Next, I learned how to do a fall damage cancel. Basically, all you do is you hold the throw button, which is R. Yep. So you you hold the R and then you let go. And like during the animation, you just unequip something. So I'm just gonna you know, unequip a Boko shield and that would have canceled my fall damage. Um, yeah, if you, if you... All right. There, okay. And yeah, if, if you do it slightly earlier, you don't throw the weapon, but I mean, you can always pick up the weapon if you throw it. So I'd want to slide over to this shrine, right? Relatively. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna get into that square area there. Okay. Nice. That should work. Nice. Making Definitely. progress. I'm excited. I, mean, I it, there there is a a visible, noticeable improvement on the on the control from the wiggles. I think that's probably enough to be able to start a run at the bare minimum. First thing you gotta do is go pick up the, the Sheikah Slate. Um, so yeah. let's go grab that. Yeah, right there is, there are some very long cutscenes right at the start here. There's actually two cutscenes. The second cutscene actually starts the day night cycle and the weather cycle. So we're gonna be skipping that. So it's only <laughs> ever sunny and 5.15 AM. Whenever you open the Sheikah Slate, Link like flips around to face the direction that it's pointing. And so we're gonna use that to clip through the wall. Uh, you see the little cone in the mini map? The oh, wall? yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I see yeah, what you're about. We're, we're gonna use that as like a visual reference to get the right angles. Okay. Because Link needs to be at a certain angle. 
and the camera needs to be at a certain angle. We're gonna have the the edge of the mini map a little bit past the the square there. Once the camera is there, you want Link facing at about the other corner. You mash the shit out of the R3 button and kind of just adjust the camera a little bit and adjust Link a little bit at a time. Eventually, the Sheikah Slate will open and you'll go through the wall. Sometimes you won't go through the wall, you have to jump back up, but... Huh. There we go. Oh, you got it. You literally got it first try. Let's okay. uh, go! Chris, uh, the thing about walls in Legend of Zelda, and it's kind of unique to this game. I don't think any other game I've played has this. Uh, wall collision is two-sided. So if you get out of bounds, you're stuck out of bounds. The walls are solid. There is a certain spot to clip back out. Uh, there is a slightly darker patch right here. You can kind of see where Link's head is. There's a slightly darker patch. Right there. Yeah. You want to crouch on it and then uncrouch, and you'll pop right out. A little bit for the forwards. Oh. There you go. And then you're cool. back in bounce. Yeah, and so what you want to do is you're going to make a beeline for the the spear, probably, and then the shield, because they go for the weapons first. And then once they have all the question all of the question mark, you run towards them normally until your stamina is low, and then you can whistle sprint again, and they'll kind of walk towards you. Okay. And they'll be further away from their weapons. So you'll be able to grab a spear, and you should be able to turn around and grab the shield, and then you can kind of... Okay, I see it. Yeah. Then you can grab the, the meat over the fire. There's uh, five mushrooms here. Uh, if Link is standing on a slope and he, like, shield hops onto it, that angle of the slope, Link will store inside of him. Uh, okay. The next time the shield is unequipped, he will snap to that sort of angle that that slope was at so if you can see that little slope there yeah this guy and there's a very consistent way to get that skew that i was talking about okay where if you are just hanging on the wall above it like you you jump onto the wall you do one rapid pull up you don't need to climb at all yeah b and then the inputs for the shield jump which is uh zl and a yeah he'll he'll land on that slope perfectly and you'll have that skew it's it's pretty generous there you go you got it See. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he he is Yep. Shield needs to be re equipped. This seems good. Oh. Hey, hey. let's go. <laughs> nice. Start of the run. Okay, so now you can uh, open up that chest, get a bow. Okay. Now, we don't have bombs, uh, but we do have a pot. <laughs> so we're gonna wiggle with a pot um and then uh, this is why you write as the fall damage canceling because the shrine's a little low okay. nice no fall damage and if you land directly in the shrine square you'll skip this cutscene okay but you, you can just avoid this by just like hiding behind something it's fine gotcha. you. now because we didn't activate the tower we need to clip into the shrine because i don't think you lost skew but yeah that should work yeah, that looks good. Okay. Maybe... Uh... Shield, yeah. Forward, XA left. Yeah. Forward, XA left. Yeah. Oh! Nice. Okay. okay! Let's go! Awesome. Now you need to clip into the shrine, because you're currently out of bounds. You need to clip back inbound. Okay. Uh, onto the platform, so... Oh, I... Uh... You should be able to... Oh, my shield broke. Yeah, that's... Oh, awesome. wait. But you okay. made it in. Let's go. Woo. I mean, you, you had the right timing. Now you're probably wondering why not just activate the shrines normally. I thought this myself. It actually turns out that you need to activate the Great Plateau Tower in order to be able to use the shrines normally. So instead, it is faster and we have to clip into each of the four shrines. Uh, Just because you've learned so much today, I, let's just go through the, the shrine. Okay. Normally. Just eat the bombs, the rocks. Um, I'll show you a little skip at the end. Pick it up and you just detonate it at the peak. It can be pretty far away because if the rocks on the top layer fall at all, they just explode. So, gotcha. as long as you hit the ones on the bottom layer, even slightly, they'll detonate. You can hit them through the floor. For learning boomy zoomies, facing a cardinal direction makes them far more consistent. Um, there's a thing in this game where if you go too fast, the game realizes you're going too fast and just stops all your speed. If you go diagonally on these, they can send you too fast. So we're going to make sure we're facing a cardinal direction. X, L, Z, R, up on the D-pad. <laughs> That's so many buttons. Nope, that's not it. 
Just one of those things to practice. For. After you place a square bomb, you can wait a little bit before blowing up the first one. So what you can do is place the square bomb. Make sure you, you see it spawn. Oh, yeah. So you see it flashing in the menu. That means you placed it. Yeah. What you can do is turn the camera uh, 90 degrees just to see. Like, yeah. Just to see if they're forming a line. And so they're not really forming a line right now. But if you wait and let Link fall a little bit, it might actually form a line. And you might be able to get longer downwards. <laughs> The bombs might be too far away. <laughs> yeah, that totally worked. <laughs> that, uh, good. Oh, that could work. Yeah, place the that place it immediately. Yeah, and then. Stand up. Oh, nice. there we go. Yo. Now the, you don't have the paraglider. <laughs> if you did have the paraglider, you could have opened that up, and it would have friggin' l you could have glided for a long time. There's a little V-shaped rock right here. You can kind of see. So once you're facing that, you you. Press B to, to quit out, and Link is now facing the right direction. Around a quarter drained, you place the first, or you place the next bomb, and then instantly detonate the first one. Okay. No exactly way, right, dude! <laughs> you make it all the way up. Nice one. There you go. Now you're in the shrine. So you run up to stasis. You get stasis room. You hit it five times. Uh, it really quick because you're gonna need to stand on it eventually. It's I usually do one two three four a side hop to cancel the animation and then one two three four. Ah oh, shit! Oh. One two three four. And what the um what the side hop does is it cancels the animation. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Sure. Get into a BLSS and I will show you the direction to go. Alright. And run so yeah, here. Perfectly at the back side of it. Nice. Let's go. And then the visual cue that I use is there's a little shadow here that has like a notch out of it. Yep. I just have Link's feet on like either side of that notch. I aim at this line. Camera's a little goofy, but. Could work maybe? I think the timing was right, but you just gotta instant detonate. Oh, that's not good. That'll take you down to a quarter. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, nice. That works. Yeah, now you can just jump to the end of the shrine. But you wanna, there's like a dark horizontal line. You wanna hit the right edge of the horizontal line. I'll send you. Whoa. Yeah, then you wiggle, and then once you're over. And you want to throw your spear away here because you don't need it anymore, so. And it is time for the castle. It was just down to the left here. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, left a little bit. You can glide down. Just shoot it left. And then there should be a door around the corner. Hopefully it's not loaded in yet. Let's see. Yeah, not loaded in. Perfect. You're going to glide slightly to the left of the pillar. Oh, the left and then... of the pillar. Oops. Or, oh, that's the right button I wish to. Um, and then grab the sword. Yeah, crouch walk. And as long as he didn't notice you, a sneak strike prompt will come up. <laughs> that's so silly. There you go, and you're able to pick up the Royal Guards framework. Perfect. Cool. Throw a bomb at the wall. There. Yeah, three ancient arrows. Fuck it into the corner. You'll hear the bomb. Oh, shit. And be distracted by it. And make sure that he is already attacking the bomb before you approach, but... <laughs> Epic. Nice. So yeah, grab his weapon, and uh, I'd grab the extra shield as well to get a shield, so grab the shield too. Maybe slide left a little bit, yeah. You want to be about right there. And then you can uh, hold down and jump off, and then just mash up and paraglider and aim where you want to go. Nice. And then this is probably the... One of the highest stakes boomy zoomies because there is a guardian that's shooting at you. So oh god. You'll need to set it up fast. Well you'll walk up the stairs. There's a ledge on the left. You can you can kinda of stand in front of the pillar to block it, but you want to stand on this ledge. And the moment your paraglider opens, you can kill all of your momentum by closing and opening it. Okay. Stand on the far right. But yeah. It's just place them, blow them up instantly, open up the paraglider, close and open, and you should make it. And then um, depending on the height. You might not land all the way on the bridge, or the paraglider might open a little bit late, and you'll have time to set it up if you, if you need that. But that timing seems good, so 
Yep, and just mash paraglider and then close and open it to stop your momentum. Got you want to get to that. You, you might be able to climb up the dirt here to, uh, and you're going to do one final boomy zoomy to get to Ganon. Stressing me out so much, man. I can't think. <laughs> so close. At the end, you learn the rest of the plateau, and then this, crushing it. I think that works. Could. It's like a 50 50. Oh my god. Yo, let's go. So you go right past this little eagle thing, and the entrance right after the eagle is right here. Yeah. Perfect. All right. And then walk in. Uh, you know what? I, I don't think. We can fight the bosses, but we can do the setup for killing one of them if you want. What you want to do is when you're swiping your sword, you notice that you can't like move left or right at all. Yeah. Uh, we're going to use that to get in a really specific position. Do this, swipe your sword, side hop twice, and he should be centered in this pillar like this. If you just do a sword swipe, interrupt it with two side hops, he should be dead center. So then you swipe your sword again, you do a backflip, and then a side hop. So... And then you should be in the perfect position where if you tap forwards at all, it will initiate the boss fight. Aim into the arena and there's a, a rock that is in the arena right here. This is going to be, a, you'll have to experiment with this to figure out the right spot. Maybe watch a YouTube video to get more information on exactly where. That'll probably work. It, it's, it's pretty precise. So then what you do is you eat your attack up food, and this is only a attack up two, so it might not fully kill the boss, but we'll see. Uh, then what you do is you just hold forwards on the on the control stick, so you walk forwards, okay, and you just press B, and it should trigger the boss fight. And you don't skip the cutscene, and if it was placed, or you skip this first cutscene, and then it'll show the boss spawning, and you don't skip this one. And if you place it right, then the boss's head will start to kind of twitch during. Uh, then when the name pops up, his name will start to twitch. Like that. Oh, so okay. Twitch once there? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so he's taking damage, and if you had an attack up three, it would be dead right now. Okay. But that would have killed the first blight with an attack up three. That's so silly. Because what happened is the cutscene froze the arrow in midair. Since my coach was busy doing 100% speedruns of the game, I decided to take matters into my own hands and learn the only thing that stood between me and being able to do full runs. Killing six bosses in a row with only three hearts. This was no easy task, but I did find an incredibly helpful tutorial by the Tony Express that gave a great breakdown of each of the fights and how to do them optimally. Progress, I guess. While progress was happening quicker than I thought, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Unlock him. Yes! 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 I can- 
finally do runs. Now that I was able to complete all six bosses in a row, it was time to put everything that I had been taught and learned to the test. The real run. Bro, how do I switch my system to French? Does anybody know? <sighs> How much does switch into French save? I don't know, to be honest with you. All I know is all the speedrunners playing French, so. Dear speedrun gods, please let me finish the very first run ever in under 45 minutes. Let's see if I remember how to do any of the stuff before the blights, because I haven't done it in a few days. Okay. Bro, Link, get through the ground! No, he's got... I'm restarting. All right, we need a better start to the run here. Nice. There we go. Actual genius, dude. Look at me go. Oh my god. I just about died. I hit the wrong thing. Okay. I think you need to activate the tower first. Nah, I'm good. Our first split, dude. Need to get my amiibos ready. All right, we need the carp lame, the darude lame. All right, we're good. this in Spanish? It's a different Spanish than I remember taking in high school. You have to blow yourself up on purpose, chat. Oh, rats. Didn't mean to bomb myself there. Please go. Please go. Okay. Nailed it. First try. Nice. Dude, it's hard for me to remember to split. I'm like so focused on making sure I don't screw up. Let's go. Well, anything's a PB if I finish. If it's six hours, that's a PB, because I haven't finished a run. Would you look at that? Sub 20 cryo. No! Don't screw this up. Get rid of this, too. Dude, just... Okay, fine. Just don't get rid of it. Just don't get rid of it. Okay, to the castle we go, boys. Yeah, that's loaded. I think the backup door is over here. I'm gonna try and go over to this. Alright, he's still there.
Oh. Dude. Can you stop doing that? Did that okay, the auto say it auto saved again. To do this, this, that, and then this. I think. Alright, good enough. Hit the wrong button. I'm dead. Pray for me. Literally pray for me. Please. Please pray for me. Alright, one down. Nice, dude! Just like you practiced. Just like you practiced. It's easy. Okay, just miss the arrow. Why is he, he shouldn't be that far up? Okay, we can adjust. Can I hit the head? Oh my god, what a shot. Who is this guy? Thunder Blight, please be nice. Oh my god, that was perfect. Oh my god, I don't know how I grabbed that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Um I need him to ground laser. Dude, okay, don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Oh, wait. Did that hit? 
No, wait, why did that not work? God, dude, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> First run! Let's go! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I be honest for a second? I've only ever done phase two of Ganon one time. With sub 45 under my belt and an incredible stroke of luck, I decided that wasn't good enough. It was now sub 40 or bust. How the fuck does that hit me? No, I'm dead. Dude, he didn't stun. He didn't stun, bro. Oh my god. And some of the next runs were definitely not as kind, especially when I got to the boss. That is, until I got to my last attempt of the day. It was my last chance to sub 40 before Tears of the Kingdom. All right, boys, let's just do it faster and without the dying part this time. All right, I'll stop playing around. I'll just get world record. All right, I already lost it. Link does not want to clip today. Thank you. That was really close. Oh my god, first try. We need good Joels, and then we need um, the rest of it to be good. I need to not swing too early on Ganon either. Perfect. All right, that was a good beginning. That's what we want right there. Is this guy? I don't think that gave me skill. Bro, please hit the lima bean. Thank you. All right, we lost a little bit of time there, but it's okay. Almost choked that. No. No! Stupid bomb. It's a good one. I just don't get how that doesn't work. Like, it looked fine to me, I just don't know what I did wrong there. Because I don't think the circle bomb was late. I just want to hit that launch one time. In a hurry or anything. Okay, here we go, boys. I don't know if I'm making this. Bro, get in the door. Oh my god. From there? From there? From there? Took myself with a bomb real quick.
face. Come on, baby. Where's the hype, chat? Come on, boys. Why is he there? No, this is actually really not good. Dude, come back. Bro. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. So bad. With a near-perfect Blight segment other than Fire Blight, the only thing that stood between me and Sub-40 was Calamity Ganon. Sit still, please. Sit still, please. I thought I, I thought I was about to die to beast cannon, dude. This is the easiest part of the whole thing. I was like, dude, do not throw here. Do not throw. Again, a huge thank you to the goat small ant for teaching me the run. I couldn't have done it without him. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to go check him out. I will leave his links in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.